Hey guys, Zolfury here, and welcome to Guild Wars 2 Weekly, your weekly source of Guild Wars 2 news and info. In the headlines for the past week, Imagine FX, which is a digital art magazine, spotlighted ArenaNet's artists in its latest issue. A link to the spotlight and this article in the description below. ArenaNet's artists are so talented, and it brings me great joy to see them getting this much recognition. Way to go, guys. Way to go. That's all for the news this week, so let's move on to our lore feature. And today we are concluding the series on the Elder Dragon with Kral Katorik. This Elder Dragon, as well as all of the others, has no clear gender. But I will be referring to him as a he, just for simplicity's sake. Kral Katorik was the last of the Elder Dragons to awake doing so only five years before the present day of Guild Wars 2. Kralkatorik has crystalline powers, meaning that he has the ability to turn living organisms into crystal. This power is best demonstrated in the creation of the Dragon Brand. Kralkatorik awoke in the Grothmar Wardowns, a region of the Char homelands and flew south to the Blaze Ridge Mountains, turning all living organisms to crystalline versions of their former selves wherever his shadow fell. This path is now known as the Dragon Brand. Kral Katorik is by far the biggest of the Elder Dragons, standing at an enormous 1,000 feet tall, and his two mile wide wingspan easily blocks out the sun. The Crystalline Dragon, the Shatterer, is one of Kralkatorik's champions, who patrols the Dragon Brand. Kralkatorik currently resides in the Northern Crystal Desert, and as such is preventing communication to Alona. The guild Destiny's Edge attempted to fight the dragon at the end of the book Edge of Destiny, but were unable to succeed. As it stands, Kralkatorik remains a grave threat to not only Tyria, but Cantha and Alona as well. That wraps things up for the day. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to tune in on Thursday where we will continue our series on Asura lore. And also be sure to tune in next Monday where we will take a look at the group of adventurers known as Destiny's Edge. But until then, I'm Zolfiri, and I'll see you around.